ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? You miss me? Oh, I posted yesterday. You right. This is a daily kind of thing. You know, you got to tune in daily to understand. You know, if, if you just pop in one vid, you're going to miss a bunch of info. This is a daily kind of thing. Tune in. I should be doing this daily on TikTok, too. Well, I am, but, like, you know, ranting and shit. Oh, no, just keeping up to date. I just be posting random shit on there. I slept good, though. I'll tell you that much. I, I, I thought I went into a coma, like food coma. You know, you're like going Thanksgiving, you eat so much, especially if you have that great, like those grandparents that are like, please, there's plenty, have more. But you have the more, and then they're wondering why you're falling asleep at the table. Like, Grandma, I got carb overload 25 minutes ago, and you're still making me eat. Let me doze off, take a nap, recharge, and I come back, and I'll finish the plate. Come on. But yeah, it's Saturday morning. Going. I was going to get more of that. If you guys been tuning in, I like myself the Mia water. You know, the little, little, it's not even a tube. It's like a little container of like an energy drink that you squirt into your water. All right. We all know about that. Like back in, when did that come out? I think like middle school. I remember there was a time where everybody had that shit. It's like, yo, let me get some in my water. It was like, no, motherfucker, go buy it. I was going to get more of that, but I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I think I'm actually, I've been doing really good this week with eating healthy. So I think I'm going to get myself a little treat. Chocolate milk. Yup, chocolate milk. Small one though. It's not big. Just, uh, <laughs> how do you think I stay this good looking? Come on, man. You think I can keep, keep my complexion just like like this without nothing? No, chocolate milk. Come on. I'm a chocolate baby. So I'm going to get that and enjoy it a little bit and then get home and work on my paper, right? You know, you know it's a good day when you're actually looking forward to sit down and hammer away at paper. That says something. So, yeah. Just want to film a bit. I'll probably film a little bit more while I'm outside. But on my way to get that milk. Yeah, I can walk to the store. It's, it's a small town. It was, come on. But I'm going to walk there and get it. I'll end up probably filming something later. But I'll see you guys when I do. If I do. I probably will. The milk has been obtained. And what I realized when I was in that store getting the milk was I used to go to the same store and go to the toy aisle as a kid. Because I grew up in the same area my whole life. I used to go to the toy aisle, see what toys was there and i would get i get a lot of toys from there now i go in there and i go in there for like some some of that meal water or like chocolate milk that's crazy it's crazy to think about if you like reflect shows growth i mean do i do i still look at lego sets yeah sometimes maybe not in the store or online it's a wider variety but ooh. see this is why i drink my chocolate milk my complexion is too good Especially when the sun hits it. Chocolate baby. Alright, whatever. Yeah, that was just something I realized when getting the milk. You know, it's a little bit of nostalgia walking through that store every time, but I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, we are back. I have been, been running errands. <laughs> it's a little bit of a busy day running around. Had a bit of an issue with like the, the plumbing under the sink. Had to go fix that. Got it fixed. So I'm now on the way to return that part that I got. Uh, dude, that sink, I think there's nothing more irritating than like plumbing issues. Like, oh my God. It, to sit there, I mean, plumbing's not that difficult, but it's like a fucking puzzle. You know, figuring out, hmm, what's not working? I don't know, guess we'll figure out. And you spend a lot of time, not that much money, plumbing's reasonably cheap, but a lot of time. It's just back and forward, back and forth. Now we got it, we got it. So, something that has been an issue for a solid two months. 
thought the issue was fixed originally. It wasn't. Lucky me, right? But now it is. Hey, copyright. Let me turn this off. I don't need to get copyrighted. Why would I get copyrighted if... I'm not making no action on this account, but... Damn. I'm telling y'all, that chocolate milk. Skin's looking a little lighter. Been breaking out here and there. It's gone away. But I will say, I mentioned this before in a video. Rose water. Rose water. Give it a try, gentlemen. Especially you too. I, I, I think us young men are well known for our lack of hygiene, per se. So, some rose water, wake up in the morning, spray it on your face, and you're good to go. Just let it sit. Don't, like, wipe it off. Just, like, let it sit. Let your... It rehydrates the skin. And I do that a few times a day, because I'm, I'm the type of guy who gets really greasy skin. It kind of pisses me off, so I wash my face, kind of, like, just to wash off the grease. And then, I also then, like, dry my face, and then I use the rose water. Because, uh, I, I think... I don't have acne. I get like the casual whiteheads that every uh, every creature of the human species fucking gets. But it gets quite annoying, so I try to stick up with it, like especially in this area. I had really bad acne scarring. Like, cause I would like pick at it. I know, I know, don't pick your skin. Well, I fucking picked my skin. Nobody told me that before I started picking. So I would pick my skin and then I had the acne scar. I had another another oil specifically for that i think it's called bio oil it's like a pink little bottle you can buy it at target it's i don't know how much it costs i'm not gonna lie to you it's probably like 10 11 dollars but you got to put it on like constantly twice a day for like three weeks and i i still have some acne scarring but like not much but um how the fuck did i get on acne i was talking about plumbing <laughs> that is wild but yeah oh shit light's green I'm sweating. I don't know if anybody can notice. Like, I look like a wet dog. <sighs> Smell like one too. Golly! The thing I hate about Home Depot in my area is that this parking lot, for the amount of people that it gets, this parking lot's absolute shit. It like it needs to be fixed. Like more uh, more parking spaces. The parking spaces are about yay big. Expect me to fit a car in there? Come on, man. Uh, I got to give it to the truck drivers, though. Like, you, if you ever want to be amazed and you're just kind of feeling low, go to a Home Depot parking lot and see the trucks. They squeeze their ass into the tiniest spots, and I cannot, I cannot praise those guys more. I'm like, I don't know how you did it, my guy. But kudos to you. Is kudos the right word? Who knows? See, that's what I mean. This parking lot's just... I have to go to the back. Am I going to walk all that way? Yes, I am. All right. So, you do, ooh, there's a park, there's a child there. I cannot park there. I'm going to hit that poor child. Oh, I will, I will slide on over here. And park. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you park in a, in a parking spot in Home Depot. All right, so I'm going to run in there, return this, this bullshit. Some white boy baseball players over there taking pictures for Instagram. You know how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to run in there. Fuck, I forgot my hat. It's like a little little church boy forgetting his church shoes. I forgot my hat. Anyways, going to run in. I'll see you guys like afterwards. Got to buy like a, a thing or two. I'm see you. So, I did a thing. You know what that was? Returned what the fuck I said I was gonna do. That's what. Now I'm gonna head home. There's a, what's over here? There's like some fast food place near here. Oh, it's a Chick-fil-A, like literally right behind me. And uh, I, I was walking to the car and I haven't had breakfast, it's like two. I am going to starve myself. I'm gonna be a fragile, Gonna be no I'm nothing but like <laughs> I heard somebody say this before they're like um bro hasn't been eating enough <laughs> he just ribs and dick <laughs> that shit was so funny but uh yeah dude I, I was I'm hungry low-key just with this whole sink thing I, I kind of forgot about food and um 
I, I'm walking to the car and I smell the Chick-fil-A and I'm like, holy cannoli baloney, dude. It smells so good. But no, I shall not get no Chick-fil-A. Not today. I actually don't eat Chick-fil-A. There's nothing wrong with Chick-fil-A. I personally, I don't indulge. I don't eat McDonald's. I think, what's a restaurant that I, like fast food place I would eat? I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Because, like, every time my mom brings back food, it's either Chinese food or my favorite, Greek food. It's rare with the Greek food. It's usually that's for, like, a special event. Oh, but I, I like my... I like my Greek food. All right, buddy. I'm telling y'all what this, this, uh, what's it called? Home Depot parking lot? Insanity. You can't get nowhere without having to stop every two seconds. Let me stop right here. Keep going. Anywho, how's your day? I hope your day is good. Your hope your day is going fantastic. I am. I'm already tired of today. Uh, to be honest, I'm trying to keep a positive mind in this video, but after being so so tired, I was so out of it in yesterday's video. But today, I'm not out of it. I'm just like I'm tired, like legit, physically tired. You know, I, I got, so yesterday, in yesterday's video, I was talking about how I had a project, like two projects, and so I, I told myself, all right, I'm going to sit down today th in the morning, and I'm just going to get the first part done. Guys, I got to the third part. I added so much information. I'm like, you know you're doing good when you're excited and confident to write a paper. That's saying something. So I'm gradually chipping away at it. You know, I just want to get a nice rough draft, send it to my professor, see what he thinks. Because that guy's super dope guy. He's like, do you have any questions? Want me to read over it before you, anything? Send it my way. And I was like, oh my gosh, man. Definitely going to. I have a partner. I have not, like, I have not heard from that partner since we made the group. But I've been chipping away at this. I, I have made a promise to myself that no matter what, I was going to get the work done. I will not jeopardize my grade because my partner cannot communicate. You know, I've been doing the talking for the group, you know, considering I've been doing. They need to make that light green. Every time I go to make that right hand turn, right? All, everything stops, nobody's moving. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go. And I start going, you know, and there's another, another lane, like turning right, turning, turning left while I'm turning right. And then you don't know who's making a fucking U-turn. You just don't. And then you start to make the turn. And then out of, out of nowhere, somebody's making a U-turn. Like, dog, nobody wanted to make a U-turn while I was waiting, huh? But once I start going, U-turn. All good, though. All good, though. We're alive, aren't we? <laughs> Damn. This thing, this whole, like, sink thing took, like, an hour and a half. I just want to get home, snack on something cool off man florida heat is not a joke man like <laughs> I, it's just not something i like i keep my ass in i like to go outside early morning because it's so cool but once it starts getting a little cooler like i think when november comes around it's gonna strip the temperature is gonna drop that's the time i like i like to wear pants hoodies you know, I like to wear hoodies because sometimes I don't want to wear the hat. You know, the, I know the hat's kind of part of my uniform. I always wear a hat normally because I, I have bad head, really bad, bad head. <clears throat> but I forgot the hat. I wore the hat on the way there, but when I got home, plugged it in, I took it off. You know, you know it's serious when the hat come off. So I was, I was chipping away at that. I got it done, but enough of that said. You know, we're we're uh, we're about to turn into the neighborhood. Get it going. Hopefully, I film something more today. I would like to. Um, I have some something for work. I'm just like keeping my phone like next to me up all day because there's something for work, and I just have to be uh, attentive because at like a certain time I'll get a text like, "All right, all right." So I just gotta be ready and then just get get shit done, you know. But um, yeah, nothing planned. 
nothing planned. I don't really do much on a Saturday. Saturdays, Saturdays act as my my Sundays. Fridays are my Saturday. I like Fridays more than Saturdays, but Saturdays just they're just not my favorite. I don't know. It just feels like I don't know. It feels like I'm doing shit, but I'm just doing shit to be busy. I'm not doing sh anything fucking productive, and that's that's the thing I don't like about them. It's like I know I'm doing nothing productive. I'm just like breathing air and passing time. You know, it's like oh, I'm just waiting for Sunday to come. You know, nothing. Because on Sunday, Sunday is everybody's fun day. Saturdays are everybody's lazy day. Like, when have you ever had like a Saturday? And you text your friend, they're like doing something actually productive. Maybe they're working. Okay, that makes sense. But besides that, ain't shit happening. It's, what, the 29th today? So everybody went to a, a Halloween party yesterday, so I know they slept in. So it's like, dude, I was working on the homework paper this, uh, homework this college assignment. Fuck, I can't talk. Hold on, let me punch in this code so I can get, get into my crib. Oh, I forgot the card. Oh, ah! got stuck under the steering wheel. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was a legit cry for help. Oh my god, I got stuck under there. Holy hell. Beefy boy. I, I, I think I made like a TikTok about this before. Like my grandma, I went to my grandma's for a wedding. And that, she, that was my first time meeting her in person. She always seen like pictures of me. But like I'm there and she's like, eat, eat, eat. I'm full, man. I'm full. I'm good. Look at me. I look like the turkey on the table. I'm surprised they didn't, rep like, get confused and put me there instead. Damn, Grandma. Relax. And I gained, like, quite a few pounds on that fucking bulk. Oh, well, when I was there, and then I was like, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to bulk. And I, I got in a little leaner. I actually woke up today extremely flat, and I, I, I was like, damn, looking good. Like, I could see the striations more in my shoulder. The no striations, what am I talking about? Veins, I could see the veins more in my chest and shoulder. It kind of, it's like this area. I was like, let's go. I'm so happy about it, but I'm home, enough yapping. You guys got like fucking 13 minutes of me in the car talking. You're welcome. You're welcome. It, like, if you come to my channel thinking it's going to be bougie, like, just imagine Emma Chamberlain, right? As a male. But a really unfunny version of it. And then take her vlog style and then make it as ghetto as you possibly can. That's what you got. And that's what you call Jacob. But, yeah, I'm going to get my ass inside, snack a bit, and cool off. You know? Look a little more presentable next time you see me. But I'm probably not. I'm going to look exactly the same. Messy hair boogers hanging from my nose you know the deal but i'm gonna talk to you